Hey y'all, thank you for joining me here at my original uh, shelter that me and my daughter built here a few years ago. So I've been thinking this is going to be my first video in the series going primitive. So what I'm going to be doing uh, this fall, I'm going to be doing some primitive hunting. I'm going to be out doing all kinds of primitive bushcraft and primitive fire making, primitive fishing. Um, but I got to thinking, the first thing I need I've got to have a primitive shirt. So, <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is my elk buckskin mountain man shirt. I'm gonna show you how I made it right now. All right, so I took, I took this old sweatshirt that I had and uh, my wife disassembled it for me and I'm using that as a pattern and I've got me some poster board here. I've laid everything down and I've done some adjusting on um, like the sleeves right here. They were a little uh, long on the sweatshirt as far as from top to bottom and to save some material, I was able to take off a couple inches there. So uh, this is gonna be the back and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this out. I've already got my front um, cut out for the most part and uh, one sleeve done. All right, the front and the back, I've got my patterns made. This is the sleeve out of the sweatshirt that I decided to use as a pattern. Now, it's been cut at all the stitching, except the sleeve right here, which it's elastic, so. But anyway, like I said before, I had to do some adjusting um, because the sleeve was a little bit too wide. So I done some tweaking on my measurements. I've already done one. This is one side, and both sides are the same. And but I need uh, I need two patterns to go by so I can lay everything out on my hide at one time so I can see what all I've got to work with. I may have to get a little bit more creative because I've just got the one elk hide. So this is, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make this other pattern for my sleeve, and that'll give me my front and back and two sleeves. All right, I got all my patterns cut out and I've got them laid out on my tanned elk skin. And I'm thrilled to death because it was cutting it very close. As you can see, I've got a lot of pieces. Um, I had to get real creative with it. But the math added up, so I, I, I knew it would work, but until I laid all the pieces out, this has uh, eased my mind a lot. So, all right, next step is I'm gonna get these all uh, traced out and uh, get the leather cut. All right, patterns all laid out here. I've, I've got everything drawn around. So uh, now I'm gonna transfer this over to the table and start cutting out some patterns. Got everything cut out. And this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. If I've got enough leather, I'm gonna put the fringes across the chest and down each sleeve. And I'm gonna work on a uh, front pocket. What I went ahead and done is laid the front. I'm starting out the front. I had enough scrap left over. Um, I'm gonna make the tassels, the fringes. I've already got my whole stamped out through here. Got everything put together. I used this uh, cement right here and got it stuck together. So uh, now it's time to start threading it up. All right guys, for my thread, I'm using an artificial sinew and I'm gonna be using two needles. 
Now, to get your measurement on how much thread you're gonna need, they say go five times the length of what you're sewing. So there's one, two, three, through right now I'm going to take it back through itself do it twice and see I've got an S now pull it all through. There you go. Now I'm going to do that on both ends of this thread. So I've got my thread through the first hole. And you want, you want it to be right in the middle. So I've, I've measured both of these out. I'm going to pull it up. Thread's right in the middle. If you can make it out. So now I'm going to get started threading. Alright, the front's done, this is the back, and what I'm doing, I'm sewing the back top to the back bottom, and the only reason I'm having to do that is where I um, had to get creative with my material because, actually I could have used another hide, but I just opted to get creative, and that was what I got, but it has caused me some extra stitching, which is no problem, so right now I'm just gluing. this uh, top piece to this bottom piece. I've got everything laid out like I want it. I'm going to put me a strip of glue, put it together and let that sit. And then I'll start uh, punching my holes for my stitches.
where I'm at so far. This is the front. In the back. I've got it stitched at the top and the bottom on the front and the back. And I had enough scrap left over, I was able to put some fringe in there. Um, and I've got the shoulder stitched. So now all I like is putting the sleeves on and then stitching down the sides. Top and bottom sewn together, front with my fringe. Here's the back. And now I've just finished up putting both sleeves on. And I've still got to sew up. All I've got left is the uh, bottom of the sleeve and down the rest of the side. On both sides. So far, I'm pretty pleased with how it's looking. Guys, this is my second day of working on this. I worked uh, several hours last night. Got everything done so far. Got the sleeves all sewed up with the fringe on the underside. So here's where we're at so far. I had just a little bit of a uh-oh. Uh, it was too narrow at the bottom. So I had to go through and get some scrap material and uh, sew a wedge in the sides. So it was fit me good. I got some measurements just a little bit off, I guess, when I was making my pattern, where I was going to buy a sweatshirt. But uh, super pleased. Let's see some of this stitching. All I really got left to do, as far as the main part of the shirt, is I rolled the cuffs in and put a stitch around the end of the sleeves. I'm also gonna do the same thing on the bottom of the shirt. And I've got to come up with some kind of collar um, right here. But anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Here's the back. I'm super, super tickled with it. All right, guys, shirt is done. I'll accept just a little bit of stitching around the bottom just for mostly decoration. super tickled with how it turned out uh, everything was hand stitched I didn't use a machine on anything I'm tickled to death with how it looks I did I have not done anything with my collar yet and the reason is the next video I make I'm making a hood for this thing and uh, this is what I'm using as a hood I've got a red fox it matches my beard and I'll need a good hood. So next video, I'm going to be making a hood for this shirt. Y'all stay tuned. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks, y'all.